It is a nice cold evening morning. Granted, it's a little bit chilly outside, but who cares, right? Mm, today's journey will not be about will not will not be following Pink Side, but today we will be following the Mega Raptor. Which I'm joking, we're not following the Mega Raptor. Instead, we will be following the Sleeping Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is a very strong dinosaur. <laughs> It has a survival for pink side. <sighs> it is starting to die on this dying guy part of the island. As however over there there's food, but here there's hardly no food. All they can have to eat today is just a s all they got to eat today was leftover meat from a dead stegosaur. <sighs> And now it's starting to get hungry. But I see something. It starts wandering over to an unexplored island. On this part of the island, it is unexplored. As there is one creature here the Mega Bam. Pedestro. Which is a gigantic bat, which is actually a herbivore. And while it's not endangered here, it's it doesn't starve as it can eat anything. As it can fly over, but still again at a risk for the Mosasaurus and the Megalodon leaping out. The Carnotaurus walks towards it, <laughs> turning around to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off its large size, the carnotaurus knows to back off. As again, it's only a juvenile. It starts taking flight. As a, down in Death Valley, where one of the giant T-Rex is dying, we meet Pinkside. And while we're only here to meet her for a good few seconds, we just come to check up on her after the horrific attack by the giant T-Rex. She moves on away from her territory as a Carnotaurus, which we should actually give a name to. He will be named Bullhead, as because Carnotaurus have been known to ram their prey like bulls. I know it doesn't sound like a real dinosaur, doesn't sound like a good dinosaur name, but let's just go. He decides to go down to the death part of Death Valley. Again, very hard to get down. So he has to take the longest way down. Or he risks getting injured. He is not as agile as Pink Sidus, who is actually pretty darn agile. Can he make it down? She probably think twice about coming down again. Another gigantic T-Rex separated from its herd. I know, not just because we like this T-Rex, because I feel like we should give this double species of everything. This gigantic T-Rex owns this part of the territory. But it has a hard time getting up. <sighs> it is the largest dinosaur on this side. But it's still out of risk. Its water supply has dried up. And there's no more water. <laughs> it needs to find a way to get up to the island. Or it will suffer start. <laughs> but again, this adventure is not about this this T-Rex. As we pay him to show it. Struggling to survive. It might be an adventure for tomorrow. We'll go. Bullhead has found a part of the island to try and actually get down to. He spots it perfectly. Down there. But it is again very extremely risky. It 
should work, however, as there's a little bit of a path down here. But it's still dangerous. Spiderweb is close. That could catch her, him in seconds. <laughs> Crawling down, it's able to get her not much injured. Again, this is just a juvenile. Searching for food down here. He cannot see no food. But he has his own secret way of getting up. <coughs> Hearing the noise, he stares upwards. <coughs> up in the sky. <coughs> the giant bat. <coughs> Flying down. He sees this. He goes for the <laughs> Dragging it down. The teeth clenching down. <laughs> throwing him throwing the back to the ground. Stomping on him. <laughs> Hanging on to the jaw. <laughs> it's about to eat until <laughs> His meal is interrupted just like pizza. But what is this? The giant T Rex who sees the Carnotaur, who sees Bullhead. <laughs> Roaring. Bullhead just stands there petrified as the Carnotaur stomps its way over. <laughs> Forehead just stands. Backing off slowly. As he is terrified. He's only a small dinosaur, which makes him an easier an easier target. <laughs> they meet up. Bullhead, scared, not knowing what to do, he doesn't move, the giant dead, the giant here sniffs, pushing him to the ground, not moving an inch, the T-Rex can't sense the movement, Dragging the dead bat. <laughs> he gets up. And he makes a run for it to the edge, but very slowly. Not keeping his eye off that giant T Rex. Before he gets up onto the rest. <laughs> he figures he can just hunt more, as he will be able to live. On one of the rocky edges, a pteranodon. Flies. <laughs> Going over, spotting the dead carcass. It goes to the ground. It then flies over to the other side, as again, hoping there's food. It spots something. Falling to the ground. Staying low. Knew it is a close ceratops. Oh. It moves crashing through the forest. <laughs> Fine. It meets up with it. It meets up with it. <laughs> Screaming as it spots this dinosaur. <laughs> Size comparison this giant dinosaur. It's jerk. Next thing you know, one event can lead to another. And this event leads to a big downfall. Trendron <coughs> <coughs> is struck, scraping its underneath. <coughs> but unpronounced to it, behind this Tyrannodon is a Dimentodon. Sneaking up to it. Hungry. Strong. 
they start size comparison. Go. <laughs> the presser at it, the chest at it, it spots it, marks him towards it. It backs off. Then, before it can think, the Tyrannodon launches, <laughs> scraping onto its body, tackling it. <laughs> Biting the leg, the Diamond Tyrannodon launches, <laughs> grabbing its, its horn. <laughs> Not a good place to grab it. The Trandon continuing to bite onto its leg. It's screaming in pain. Diamond Trandon jumping. Slicing into its bone, into its skin. Grabbing the Diamond the Trandon's head. Pulling it off. But the, but the Trandon will not intervene. It then goes around. Coming to another ambush attack. The Diamond Tridon coming around with razor sharp teeth. But as the tails, it strikes. <coughs> Biting and pinning it down. The, the, the Protoceratops escaping as the Tyrannodon is quickly tipped, flipped over. <coughs> Going for a neck bite. Snapping it. The Stamentrodon has killed one of the Tyrannodon. But again, there are more Tyrannodon on this island. For tomorrow, we will be meeting our new adventurous Gary tomorrow. And that will be the Metrutanthosaurus. <coughs> it is hung as it will make its way to survive in this dangerous. Before we go, let's go and take one final look for oh, these tires, of course. Mm. Oh. Oh. As he's tired, another day of the Dino Tournament goes on. Another day of Dino Island will go on. Pink sides also do well, too, just in case you wanted to know. I don't know why.